What's up? I'm Brianna. Here's your hip hop news to power on for your weekend. Now, City Girls dropped their visuals on Act Up, which I love the fact that they decided to have Lil Yachty involved because he co-wrote the song, and he lets them know to add a little bit more energy. Check this out. I bet your little sister wanna look like me. There you go. Chippy Red just dropped his new song, Under Enemy Arms. He dropped some really fire artwork for it and even a photo on his Instagram with him and Koi LeRae. Speaking of which, randomly, I was at Walmart and I saw them getting like hella snacks. It was random, but it's Los Angeles for you. If you haven't seen Aladdin, I would highly recommend it. They made over $113 million over the past more of that weekend. Now, I was really surprised, and be very honest, at Will Smith's acting because normally, when you think of Will Smith, you think of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but he kills it with this film. I was laughing like a little kid, so make sure to go check it out. One of the things that they don't put in the news is when rappers are doing something great for the community. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, she found out that one of her fans actually passed away and decided that she was gonna help pay for the funeral. $1,200. Honestly, this just opened my eyes to Megan Thee Stallion and let us know that she is such a great person and not just here for the music, she's here for the fans. I really feel like Jordan Woods is fully capitalizing on this whole Tristan Thompson scandal, but girl, get your money, honey, because you want to be an actress. You now booked a role on Grownish. I absolutely love this show, so I can't wait to see it. The baby, more like the bully, is really playing games. He's spitting on people, he's beating up people. He beat up someone in a Louis store. This is the most ghetto shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and then he spit on a fan at a concert, which he didn't even finish, by the way. Took away the $22,000. A fan threw a dollar bill at him and he spit on him? What are you doing, the bully? <laughs> If you missed what went down at Liftoff Concert, I interviewed French Montana, London on a Track, T-Pain, Roddy Rich, which was one of my favorite interviews. Roddy really talked about his relationship with Nipsey Hussle, what Nipsey Hussle taught him in the community and what he should do. Let's let the marathon continue. Real quick, I just want to shout out my squad, Pretty Little Thing. They're always sending me clothes. I mean, I don't know if I'm an Instagram baddie now, but either way, I will take it, honey. Now, if you want to see the fits that I'll be rocking all summer long, feel free to follow me at it's Brianna. All right, that's it for this weekend's Power On News. Catch me every single day, 10 a.m. to 3 on Power 106.